Hey everybody, it's Shayna, and I am going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, this is the Mega. I did take it out of my Foxy Fix cover. This is the jelly cover I already had for it. Um, I just found the Foxy Fix cover to be basically like every other Foxy Fix, where it was just a little too bulky for me. Um, so I took that off. I am going to no longer use it, and I'm not going to use it for next year either, so... I figured I don't really need covers for these because I'm not really bringing my Hobonichis out into the world with me. Um, and if I do, I can protect them in a bag. <laughs> so um, this is basically what I'm going to be doing for next year as well, just this cover. Um, I also have this, um, this was really popular a, a while ago, um, from Office Max, this threefold, trifold um, thing from, yeah, I just said Office Max. <laughs> Um, and what I did is I've got just like a bunch of stickers in here, front and back. So I've got stuff in the front here, um, in the front here, and here, and here. And then I also put some Target Dollar Spot pockets in here as well. So I can have other stickers in there. So this is my Shine Sticker Studio. Some of them, I've got more of them here. I've got a ton of stickers here. So, um, And then I actually have this Hobonichi sticker album from Shine Sticker Studio as well. And what I did was I printed out um, stickers for basically the entire year of 2020. And this is how I'm gonna keep track of the kits that I have. So I'm pretty excited for that. But I don't have anything in there yet because obviously it's not 2020 yet, so I was just showing that off. Um, but basically what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm going to be catching up on the November 25th through December 1st, and then I also am going to be doing the 2nd through the 8th. So um, today is the 11th, so I'm not too far behind. I'm not four behind like I was last time. That was ridiculous. So um, I'm just going to get started by writing my dates here. I've started using um, the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen in the 03. Um, just because I didn't really like anymore how the, um, what is this, the, um, Sarasa Dry was writing in it, in the Hobonichi, so I switched. I'm really liking the Tombow instead. Um, I kind of wish I had a smaller one. I think they have a zero one. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, actually I may have the zero one, I forget. I'll have to find out. I think I have it. I might just have to like turn around and look at my bag because <laughs> I, I think I have it. Um, so I'm just going to put my date stickers down here. I do not, of course, have my tweezers next to me. And honestly, today I just do not care. So I'm just going to go with it. And these are going to be laid down how they're laid down. <laughs> Uh, hopefully fairly straight-ish. Um, okay. Eh. Okay. And then this is <clears throat> the llama corn kit. I think that's what it's called. I mean, it's it's a llama corn. So, that's a thing. Uh, super cute. Super cute. So, I'm going to be using this kit... Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get these stickers laid down. I am super late on posting this video. Oh, that's cool how it's like scalloped. Um, it is currently 12.38. I am filming this right now. And I still have to edit it and then upload it. <laughs> and it's supposed to go out at 2 p.m. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully... Hopefully I can get this video out in time. I actually wasn't going to film a video today, but then at the last, actually I, I wasn't gonna have time to film a video today, but then my little one decided to be sick today, so I am home with him, and that, while he is now taking his nap, gave me the opportunity to come film, so I was pretty happy about that. The, um, I haven't been outside yet, but the outdoors looks a whole lot of deceiving right now because, um, where's my phone? It is currently, oh, 
Uh, currently, one degrees <laughs> where I'm at. Um, yesterday it was negative four, so that's a thing. <laughs> um, so on the 25th, I didn't have a whole lot going on. Um, P dividers, because I got the Planner Press Dashbox subscription, the digital. Uh, that did not get done. <clears throat> I made an Ollie Block order, or maybe I received it, I forget. And then I looked into the Copa thing. So, if you haven't heard about that, <clears throat> I actually think the date to comment on it has passed, but uh, it's basically to protect children. <clears throat> it's part of the child, it's the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. And uh, it's been around since like 1980, something. Um, and they're like they review it every 10 years or so, and they're reviewing it early, I believe. And they basically put a thing in saying that. Playing with me, there we go. Um, if you are a content creator on any platform, it does not matter if it's YouTube. A lot of people are getting it confused. Um, it is not just YouTube, it is anywhere. If you are a content creator, you have to specify if your content is for children. If it is not, then you are still not exempt um, from the fines and stuff and getting char or, uh, gone after for your stuff. Um, if your content is for kids, basically what ends up happening is you, your videos are no longer searchable um, now this is YouTube. Um, your videos are no longer searchable. Um, you... Oh gosh, I can't remember all the things that happen, but there's a bunch of things that happen, um, if you mark it as content made for kids. Um, oops, sun just went behind a cloud. <laughs> and, um... It basically knocks down your revenue, um because of certain things like you're not suggested anymore in searches or anything um, and stuff like that so it's kind of a hindrance to mark your stuff as for kids but the problem is if you don't mark your stuff as for kids and you're targeting kids you can be fined up to 42,000 some dollars per video per violation um, which is obviously a lot of money <clears throat> um, and yeah, and it doesn't matter if you marked it as no, it's not for kids. And it the other part of it, the part that I didn't like, like that part I think makes sense. If you're if you're marketing to kids, you should say you're marketing to kids. Um, YouTube ended up getting <clears throat> YouTube ended up getting like fined um, by the FTC because um, parents were letting their kids go on their main YouTube account. Like the adult YouTube, not the children's YouTube, and then, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to write. Um, <clears throat> information is collected when you do that, like information on your searches and stuff like that. So YouTube was collecting this information thinking it's an adult account because it is an adult account. And it ended up being that it was a kid's account and parents got mad that the YouTube, YouTube was um, taking information about their kids. So, I don't know, that's a whole different conversation. I think it's not right in that sense. I, <clears throat> I am a parent, and I still think it's not right that, um, content creators should be penalized because parents can't seem to get their kids a, U a YouTube kids account and not let them be on their main YouTube. But... That's a whole different thing. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I, don't, I won't go into too much detail because it's just kind of a it's kind of a thing, and I don't have 
all the information on it. I did do some preliminary research on it just because, you know, with stuff like this, the, oh, the second part of it was basically that if it could appeal to a child and you don't mark your video as being for children, you could also still be fine. So, there's probably more to it, but I watched a bunch of videos, I read a bunch of articles, and that's the basic gist of what I got. Um, so that's, that's the part I had a problem with because it's so vague. Um, and there was like a whole time frame where you could, um, comment to them about why you don't like it. So I did, I signed a petition about it, which I don't normally do, but I, I kind of felt strongly about it because as a content creator, I don't want to be fined for something that is not technically targeted towards a child, but... Um, yeah. Anyway, that whole long rant out. This lighting is like super bright, but it's nice that I don't have to use my, I have my ring light that my, my camera is on, but I'm not using the actual light portion of it. So that's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. That, I, I enjoy that. Um, let's see what else do I have. <clears throat> I haven't even been paying attention to what I'm writing. <laughs> I've just been writing. <laughs> um, so, what I'm writing right now is that I, yeah, this is a really thick pen. Um, I was, um, I have my pocket rings, obviously, and I basically have been carrying around a tool junior for a while for my Korean and my friend Steph was like which she'll be on um one of my plan with me's uh, probably in February January February um but she was like you carry the thing with you everywhere why don't you use it as like a you know as a planner and I was like mm. actually I don't even think she said that I think she just said you carry that thing around with you everywhere. <laughs> and I thought about it and I'm like, you know, I could take some of the non-essential stuff out of my pocket rings, put it in my Tool Junior, like my financial stuff, and use it that. So I've kind of been on a kick about that since around this time, this Thanksgiving week. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Inserts. Oh, you know, maybe I never actually printed them. I was wondering where my December inserts went. It looks like I never actually printed them. That explains a few things. Well, dash. Ooh, that worked out really well. Oh, wow. <laughs> if I could spell. If only I could spell. Okay. <clears throat> That's about all I've got for that. Um... Of course, I completely forgot to grab my uh, blah, 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 blah. grab my combos. Okay, so what do we got here? <clears throat> feeling purple today. I think this is a dark purple, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Even though this was Thanksgiving week. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to probably write much. I didn't have much go on this week. <laughs> I'm not... I don't hate Thanksgiving. I'm just not, like, a Thanksgiving person. Um, it kind of happened when... I, something happened when I was a kid on Thanksgiving. Um, and I've just never really... I've, I participate, <clears throat> but I don't really care for the holiday, if you know what I mean. Like... I'll go to the events and I'll have dinner and I'll have a good time, but I don't really care about Thanksgiving. 
Um, so, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Thanksgiving was this week, and it was okay. <laughs> um, and we had our inventory this week, which is so dumb. I don't, I don't understand why the owner, like, just completely disregards our want to spend time with our families because he schedules it we schedule it for 6 45 in the morning on friday morning like f you i'd like to go black friday shopping or at least just like not have to wake up after thanksgiving dinner i can't go to like my in-laws or anything because they live three hours away on thanksgiving because i have to be to work at 6 45 in the morning <clears throat> so and i get that people in retail do that but i don't work in retail on purpose <laughs> I work in a warehouse <laughs> like I I do IT work so to have to go in at 6 45 in the morning the day after Thanksgiving is just dumb when we actually don't need to do it that day he just does it that day yeah I don't it's dumb um but normally it's Friday to Sunday this year it was only Friday so that was kind of cool oh my fingers are like all dirty um but one of my kind of bosses um I'm just gonna be straight up with this um he said he would take care of our other location our Wisconsin locations inventory and apparently by taking care of our Wisconsin inventory that means dropping it on my lap Monday morning uh by coming over and just calling Wisconsin and telling me to explain it to them <laughs> um and then got mad at me when I couldn't make certain decisions because he had the information and I did not. So it was not a happy time. My boss was also not happy about the lack of communication. I ended up getting chewed out by somebody on Tuesday night, which maybe I should mark that because that was <clears throat> an interesting event. Um he was swearing at me which I thought was funny because after I told this other boss about it he was like well he said he wasn't swearing and I'm like well he's lying because he was he said every other word was an f word because he was so mad and I was like you can ask the guys who are on the phone with us because they were on speakerphone um I don't know how to word this <laughs> oops uh anyway <laughs> Super fun. Ugh. That's probably all I'm gonna write. <laughs> that's not even like really showing up, but that's okay. So that's really all I've got for that week. Not a whole lot, but that's okay. I don't need to fill in all the spaces. I'm trying to kind of embrace the no what or the white space I mean um, I'm getting really sick of no white space layouts where like you can't it's just it's overwhelming with design <clears throat> so trying to kind of get away from that um I can't decide this is from the style planner I can't decide which color I want to use because I want to do this like a wintry kit let's see what else I have before I do this um so I took out, I have this, um, oh, I can't get this far off. I have this little vellum pocket that I, I got the digital from Shine Sticker Studio and then I made it myself. Um, but I keep all of my like old leftover kits in here. So it looks like I've got a bunch of kind of generic blues. I think I'm going to use this one. I really like these because they are all in one strip. Makes it way easier. Seven, eight. To lay these down. Okay. Although I still sometimes can't get them in a straight line. <laughs> but that's besides the point. So I'm going to put these back into my storage here. Okay. 
So, and that kind of matches with the kit I used that week where it was Shine Sticker Studio and it was all like winter themed. So I'm going to go with that. I don't know if I have enough. Well, actually I have some in here maybe. I do have these heart check boxes. The hearts or check boxes, stars, or they want to go with the circles. I use the circles. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use these bottom ones where it's like green, blue, and purple. Um, I think I'm going to do purple. I'm just going to make like a pattern out of it, I guess. Blue. Um, green, I guess. Yeah, I'll go with green. And... I don't know. A yellow, I guess. <laughs> In the middle. There we go. Good enough for me. Um, okay. So I have all of those down, so I can start writing... So, I'm just going to use like a box if I have one here. Which box do I want to use? I need to use, I'm going to use this purple. No, I want a bigger box than that. This is the part that may get irritating because it's just like me trying to find the boxes that I have. Um, don't want something that's like, to me, rainbows and stuff are more spring, summer-like. Um, I kind of want, like, pastels of these. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I have these down here that match these, obviously. So I guess I'll go with a purple because that matches. crooked, but I'm going to deal with it. Mm, nap. Migraine. Had a really bad migraine that day. <clears throat> okay, so the next day, well, that, that ended up being really crooked. <laughs> the next day I filmed, edited, uploaded. And I got my happy lamp, my Verilux happy lamp. On Wednesday, I modded for my husband um, for his stream, and I printed my tool dashboards, more of them, I should say. <clears throat> Thursday, I really didn't do anything. I just went to sleep early. I basically fell asleep uh, right after the kid did. Friday, um, dishes, counters. I did a bunch of cleaning, random cleaning, because I had somebody coming over on Saturday. So I did some of the cleaning Friday and some of the cleaning on Sunday. Um, I'm going to use this one. This is from the Style Planner. And I worked on work on K printer. Okay, so then on Saturday, <clears throat> I'm also going to need something for Saturday, but I think I'm going to use... I'll use one of these boxes. I'll probably, since it matches the blue, I'll use the blue. I'm kind of in a hurry to get this done because I really only have an hour to finish filming this 
edit it and upload it <laughs> to get it out on time. Um, vacuum, bathroom, office, stream. Okay. <clears throat> and film with Jamie. But you will be seeing that plan with us going up. Uh, did it already go up? No, not yet. January. I think that one. I think that one goes up in January. Groceries. Dream. My handwriting's getting awful. Um, planner time. I wonder if I have any washi that would match this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this up here. I don't know what's right. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to talk about how I finally got a bear. Oh, that was an awful E. <laughs> bear Lux Light. Um, my therapist, uh, from my PPD, PPA, suggested it. Whoops. Okay. A while ago. I'm not seeing, um, that... <laughs> This is what I get for being in a hurry. <clears throat> um, my therapist suggested it when I had my postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. Um, and she suggested it, and I just did not prioritize myself. So I never got it. Um, couldn't. Well, I could, I guess. Maybe I'll say didn't myself so I never got it when I needed it well when I really needed it I really don't like how thick this pen is <laughs> Can confirm that it works. And that I am a dumbass. And I only say that because I just did not prioritize myself. I knew I should have gotten the light. I didn't get the light. It's all on me um, for not doing it sooner. But I did eventually get it, and I really like it. So hopefully you can hear me because I'm not even facing the camera right now. I am currently trying to find washi that would potentially go with this. Let me use this washi. I think this is for Michaels. Oh, uh, I hate this with the the true washi tape with the the backing on it. Otherwise, it's just decorative tape. Um, okay. It kind of matches. It's all like blues and stuff. It's good enough for me. 
I'll put that back together later. Uh, and then I'm also going to use this washi that was stuck to it. Uh, maybe if I can get it. Come on. Oh, this one too. <laughs> Use that right here. This is like the messiest, <laughs> quickest Hobonichi plan with me I think I've done. <laughs> but there. So, let's zoom out here. Okay, so there's that week with the adorableness. And there's that week with the leftovers <laughs> and random things. So, um, I don't think I have much else to add. Um, I really, yeah, I don't think I have anything to add. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I have one more week that I probably will do leftovers on, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can actually film it so that I can do one at a time instead of two or three, or four, like last time. But, anyway, um, thank you <laughs> for watching this video, for being here. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to know when I post, hit the little bell for notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye.